everybody, what's up? It is Jenna, and today we are going to do part two of this little bear that I carved in one of my past videos. And we're gonna finish him up. But before we get to that, I wanna show you a couple things I've been working on. I've been hiding in here because it's been cold and snowy, and I don't like any of those things. So I've been in here carving with my battery saws. So over here I have this cute little moose that I'm working on. He's almost finished and I've been doing like a lot of plank work. Like over here I have this bear. He's kind of like chilling, sleeping on this um, tree that he's on. I'm just getting ready uh, for the shows this summer. So we're really excited for that. Trying to pound out a bunch of stuff. We got a bear and a cardinal or maybe a blue jay, I haven't decided yet. And we got, woo, another bear. And also, we do have a package, but we'll open up that later, so. All right, so I am going to go outside, so we are gonna have to fill these up before we go out there. So a good rule of thumb that I try to do when you're filling up your saws because I've done this a lot and I know I didn't do it for this one, but I'll do it for the next one, is to open up one, like always do the gas or the oil first, just pick one and stick to that. Because once you start switching it up like, and you're like rushing around, you might put gas in your oil and you don't wanna do that. Or the other thing that I've done is I have forgotten to tighten up the cap back up and I get oil or gas all over the place. No. Ah! I did not just do that. <laughs> okay, I've only done that a few times. <laughs> Get excited. Can't stop me now, you can't stop me. Can't stop me now, you can't stop me. Need I remind you in case you forgot? You know I'm coming for that number one spot. Yeah, I can't be stopped. You know it's level to it. Yeah, the only way to do it is to do it. Yeah, need I remind you in case you forgot? You know I'm coming for that number one spot. Yeah, I can't be stopped. I can't walk around the log, so we're gonna have to shovel. <laughs> Just so we can walk. So we got to play in the snow. We got to make quite a bit of sawdust. And now we are going to go back inside and finish him up. I just came out here to do a little bit more shaping and I furred him up. I'm gonna go ahead and do his face in there. So let's go in there because it's too cold out here. So we brought him in and we're gonna finish him up in here. But before that, we got a package from Aspen Fuel. And honestly, I do not know what's in here. So you guys are gonna uh, find out with me. So let's open it up. <laughs> I can't get it. 
So we par partnered up with Aspen Fuel and they said they were gonna send us some stuff. So here, oh, look at that. This is a nice hat. Has Aspen on it. Here, buddy. And we got their banner. So when we go on shows and stuff, we'll be like, get your Aspen Fuel. <laughs> Nice! And it matches my my sign over here. That's gonna look great side by side. What is this? Oh, it's a pop grip. A pop socket that you put on your phone. Has their logo on it. Another, wow, a bunch of them. Holy man. That's so nice of you guys, thank you. And one more other thing. Oh yeah. It's a Yeti, it's a Yeti. That's cool, that's cool. So just to clarify, Aspen Fuel is a fuel company and I recently started using their fuel in all of my saws because they took out a lot of the harmful chemicals and they're just a great company. So thank you guys. So he's almost done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead with the sander and just smooth out around here a little bit because when you carve, sometimes you just nick the snout on the side. And so we're just gonna clean that up a little bit. Okay, so right now I'm just kind of drawing in where I need to go in with the Dremel or maybe the saw. But I'm just gonna give him somewhat of a funky, kind of a, of a heart shape pad. I don't know, it's your piece. You can do whatever you want with it. Some people like to do like characters. So instead of doing five toes, they do four. Cause that's like, the cartoon way. So, but we did five for this guy because his feet are kind of big. I try my style. I'm still trying to figure it out, but I think I'm in between like character and realistic. I'm like in the in the middle there. <laughs> Let's burn him. So this guy here is kind of like a brown, dark brown, walnut e color, and I do have a perfect color that I'm going to use for him. It is dark walnut. <laughs> He's all flapped down, and I'm gonna paint him up. I'm gonna leave his snout this like natural color. I really like it, and when you like, I think wood is so cool. Like it just, there's just so many different things that pop out. 
at you and like I love this like little knot like the rings it's not a knot but the rings around it's just it's really cool so I'm gonna keep that knife so that pops out more We got him all painted up he's pretty wet so we are gonna leave him dry overnight and we'll see you tomorrow all right this is the next day here's our bear and I am really happy with how he turned out this was the model that we went off we got this little hobby hobby lobby bear and um, he doesn't look exactly like this which is okay because this is my bear this is how I made him and I'm really happy with how he turned out I didn't think I could do something like this and you know <clears throat> when you put your mind to it you would be shocked what you can do so there is a part one to this bear if you want to watch it we will have the link in this description below for you to watch if you're interested but thank you guys for joining me in today's video um make sure you hit make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button and we'll see you next time bye